This is one of the world's largest solar plants. Built in the desert city of Wazazat, it's part of a major plan to shift to green energy. The abundant sunshine may soon be crucial to power homes, not only here in Morocco, but also further afield. But the government's ambitions don't end there. The North African country wants to produce a surplus of clean power. We have one of the largest storage facilities worldwide for such kind of technology that allow us to produce electricity from sun even during the evening for uh, around eight hours during the night. Morocco wants to produce 10 gigawatts a year of electricity from renewable sources by 2030. Engineers are working high up in the mountains, erecting new turbines to harness the power of the wind. This wind farm is on Europe's doorstep and for a reason. Morocco wants to produce enough electricity from renewables and export it to a Europe that is turning gradually towards green energy and taking steps to end its dependence on Russian gas imports. Since the electricity that is produced... Paul Numba Um is the World Bank Regional Director of Infrastructure for the Middle East and North Africa. He advises governments on energy security and efficiency. This is really a game changer. I mean, countries which used to depend on oil imports with the emergence of renewable energy, be it solar or wind, can now reduce their dependency on oil imports. Clean energy isn't just helping Morocco reduce costs. It could soon be driving the economy. The government is allocating a million hectares to hydrogen projects, possibly putting the country on a path to net zero emissions in the future. For investors are already keen to get involved, building facilities to produce more clean power and store it for as long as it takes to sell globally. Hashim Ahbara Al Jazeera, Tangiers, Morocco. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.